Greg Swan here. I am a real estate broker in Phoenix. I am standing in a vacant house waiting for a plumber to come and deal with some issues. Seemed like a good time to talk to you. What I want to talk about is how you can take best advantage of the iBuyers who are entering the real estate market. It's the biggest headline in real estate. 7% of the real estate market in Phoenix based on the kind of houses that they buy. Um, they're definitely here. Whether they're here to stay is a financial question and one upon which you can have some influence by extracting maximum pain from the iBuyers when they come to do business with you. So, I've talked about this for months. If you are buying from an iBuyer, whether you went through their self touring application or if you're working with a realtor and you've toured a number of houses but you're considering making an offer on an iBuyer home, um, don't pay any attention to the list price. Have your realtor tell you what the fair market value of that home is and offer that or substantially less depending on how long it's been on the market. One of the tricks that they pull to try to make money on their so-called investments is substantially overpricing them for resale and you don't need to worry about that at all. Pay them fair market value or less. Certainly pay them no more than they paid in terms of what they paid as an original purchase price and the rehab cost, but you can discount substantially based on how terribly they've mismarketed the home. And they're terrible. They're really terrible at marketing their homes for resale, so take advantage of them. Take their money. When you're considering selling to them, they typically will overpay. This is one of the great myths that people have spread about iBuyers. I might be guilty of it too. Um, that they will try to buy low. Well, they certainly did try to buy low when they started and true institutional buyers who don't advertise on television and, and on the internet um, are always interested in paying less than fair market value, as much less as they possibly can. In the market that we're in right now and in the presence of all of these institutional buyers with or without television advertising, they all have to pay more and they're all willing to pay more and therefore, if you're considering iBuyer offers, you should pit them against each other. My recommendation is work with a realtor. If you're in Phoenix, you should be working with me, but you should be working with a realtor anyway because you need to know what is the fair market value of your home, what your, what your home should command on the open marketplace before you can consider iBuyer offers. But if those iBuyer offers come in and they're anything like 92, 93% of fair market value, they're worth considering. If they're over that, 94, 95%, chances are an ordinary MLS real estate listing, a typical real estate listing cannot beat 94%. If they're willing to offer you 94% for your property, sign it, take it, cash the check, laugh all the way to the bank. Um, they're stupid, you're smart, you won, congratulations. But you need to know what your house could command on the open marketplace before you can evaluate those offers. So. Consult with the realtor first. The realtor can advise you through this process whether you're selling to the iBuyer ultimately or whether you list or whether you do the third option, which we will discuss now, is flipping. Um, Kerbio is one of the iBuyers and they have a brilliant flipping strategy which consists of lending you the money and the expertise to flip your home before you put it on the market. And then obviously you sell it at the at the higher price. Kerbio buys it from you at the higher price or maybe they're marketing it at the higher price. I really don't know. It doesn't matter because I don't want you to do business with Kerbio. I want you to do this for yourself. Whether it's your own home, your mother-in-law's home, your neighbor's house, there are houses that you know about that the owners would love to sell but they're scared to death of what they're going to get based on the state of repair for the homes. Those homes need to be upgraded before they can be sold but the seller is not in a position to do the work himself, may not know how to do the work himself certainly may not have the funding to do the work himself, enter you. This is the third marketplace that you can be in with iBuyers is that you can be a flip partner and partner with people that you know and love or people that you find by knocking on doors, partner with them to flip their houses for the much higher sale. You do the paperwork in such a way that everybody's interests are protected on the way in and everybody's profits are protected on the way out. And it's a, a, a much faster, more frictionless way of achieving a flip with only one close of escrow instead of two, which is typical. So, and meanwhile, the iBuyers will buy the product. They're dying for product. product. They're, they're scratching each other's eyes out to get product. That's why you should pit them against each other. Again, if you're flipping, why bother marketing the home if you can get them to buy it? You put it 
you start getting soliciting bids from the eye buyers as soon as you take possession of the home. By the time you're finished flipping it, doing doing the repairs on the home, you've got the offers to to make big money on it. In any case, the point here is not to be intimidated, awed, or afraid by the eye buyers. Instead, to recognize that they are they are Wall Street funded whales. Wall Street funded meaning they've got deep, deep pockets. They've got tons and tons of mon- tons and tons of money. Whales meaning they are very, be- very, very, very big fish. A fish is the kind of gambler you can count on to be a consistent donor to your cause, to continuously donate money to your stack of chips. A whale is a very big fish, and the eye buyers are the very biggest fish of all. Go and take their money. My name is Greg Swan. I'm with BloodhoundRealty.com. You can find out what I have to say about iBuyers at iBuyerSpy.com. And I will talk to you sometime soon.